Masquera saying, Mari Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel, Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I carry on the channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I carry on subscriber? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Mari Zimbabwe, ita kuigira, ni ya budi tukwa, ni tepindula news, ya buda, chitawa iyo. So the family, ya journalist and human rights activist, ita hizi zamara, para kusika clarity. Eh, nekuda kwe uh, nyaya ya kaitika about 10 years ago na March 2015 eh, kukidnep wa kwa itai zamara itai zamara harukunzi eh, he was taken by my suspected state security agents muswa 9 March nanzi hapo pahai gerwa eh, harikumba kwa ki kuglenora muarari so harukunzi eh, before his disappearance uh, Ita hiza marae wano kwa chisteja, ma protest outside the parliament building ya chukuru zira. The government ya itunga miru wa nawa Robert Mugabe, diwani kwe iji apo uda ma human rights na kutakla ma pressing economic issues. So, mkazi wa ita hiza mara ya anonzi Shefra, Dorika Zamara, aga muda, during an interview made the voice of America, so I said the family want my answers on what happened. Kuna itai zamara Kabla ya chora ya chiti Pani hapa 10 years now Basi nga zie kuti itai zamara haripi Chinzi Hari Chinzi family yake Ilipangu ya kwa wama ilipakuru wazi wa Chinzi Makazi ya kutapana Haruzi ya kwa hari Wanundua kuru wazi wa Chora hiyo ya chiti Paka update kwa itai zamara Wanawaki Wanga Wani wanangani 7 years Wacho wangani 2 years and the now wakura and they keep on asking kuti baba wa waripi and no one can explain kuti haka inda kupi itai zamara chiti zunzu kumuru waza usinga iti atalaya chiti she is the sole breadwinner of family and she is struggling to open to make ends meet marezo mbabwe Charles Kwaramba from the Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights haka buda fito wana zakari a chiti a court order in 2015 for the search for the police to search for Zamara. Shtora e a chiti initially when we receive my updates from the police about my investigation but now ya police ya ngu nyarara pa msoro penye i shtora e a chiti my investigations mnyaya ya itai Zamara and they are now virtually dead since a panama reports can my updates haba ku piwa ni polisi mwere Zimbabwe tala ya chiti kuna 2015 polisi ya ifona shwa pa ma updates on ma police za wargu ya nawa yenda kuna kondakta ma searches mwere Zimbabwe ya sizurugunzi yaka gumira ipapo polisi yaka mira ma investigations ya ya katawaleza kari ya chiti they could meet ma officials nguwa ya kari hanzi but now ya nyaya yaka pura this week ndo funga commissioner Ponyati Baka Buda Vachi Taura The Voice of America Vachi Nizwa comment On this issue And Baka Baka Taura Vachi He could not Comment On the issue Ya Itai Zamara Then Lucia Masuka The head of Amnesty International In Zimbabwe Buda Chukuru Jira President Emerson Munangagwa Kutiva Honi Kwa Vachita Action He could locate The missing Activist Waka Buda Vachi Taura Vachi Taura the enforced disappearances are there to silence my activists since for Mnangagwa Kutaradze Kuti is promoting democracy and he should make sure that this case this case ya fambirwa so nyaya raburitwa ni pindula news mashitawa iwo wachiri the family of journalist and human rights activist Itai Zamara is seeking clarity about his fate nearly a decade after his abduction in March 2015. Itai Zamara was reportedly taken by suspected state security agents on March 9, 2015, while getting a haircut in his Glenora neighborhood in Harare. Before his disappearance, he had been staging protests outside the parliament building, urging the government of the then Robert Mugabe to uphold human rights and tackle pressing economic issues. Speaking to Voice of America, Chef Adorika Zamara 
He tells Amara's wife, say the family wants to know what happened. She said, it's almost 10 years without knowing where Itai is. I don't want to lie, it's painful. If I think about it and no one can tell what happened to him, he disappears from Zimbabwe and there is silence about it. It's really painful. If I look at the kids, the first one was seven and the other one was two. They are now grown up. They are now ask where is our daddy and no one can explain what happened to him. It's really painful because I have no answers. Chef Hadamara, the family's sole breadwinner, struggles to make ends meet approximately any 300 US a month. Charles Kwaramba from Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights said he obtained a court order in 2015 for the police to search for Zamar. He added that while they initially received updates from the police on their investigations, these reports ceased a long time ago, said Kwaramba. The investigations into Zamara's disappearance is virtually dead. We have not received any reports or indications that the police are still pursuing an, an investigation into the matter. Previously, we used to receive from police what they were doing, how they were doing it, the places they were going they were going to, how they were conducting their searches, but that stopped a long time ago. In some instances, we would meet with officials from the police, but that stopped a long time ago. The state has completely ab abdicated the resp that responsibility. This week, Commissioner Paul Nyati, the Zimbabwe Republic Police spokesperson, told Voice of America he could not comment on Zamara's case. Lucia Masuka, head of Amnesty International in Zimbabwe, urged President Emerson Mnangawa's government to take action to locate the missing activist. She said, enforced disappearances are deployed as a strategy to silence activists, to silence those expressing dis dissent in this country. And the case that comes to mind is that of Itai Zamara, well known for speaking out against corruption, for speaking out against bad governments, and for leading peaceful protests. The High Court had issued an order for authorities to investigate the case, bringing the perpetrators of this enforced disappearance to account and ensuring that the families of those affected secure justice in all such cases. This call comes as the world commemorates the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances, which is observed annually on August 30. This day was established by the United Nations to raise awareness about the global issue of enforced disappearances and to honor those who have been forcibly disappeared. Those are the news.